guys, what's up? It's your girl Rebel Jones and it is Thirsty Thursday finally. My mouth has been dry all week up until this day. Of course, last week Thursday we stayed getting quenched, but this Thursday is real. It's Thirsty Thursday, guys. Tune in. It's about to be on and popping tune, as I like to say. Peace. It is your one and only goddess here, Rebel Jones, and we are living in the process with... Wavy Bagels. You're tuned in to Hashtag Thirsty Thursday, Hashtag Bagman. Stay tuned. That was really dope. What got you into doing music in the first place? Um, it's crazy. Um, music has been around me all my life. You know, uh, Growing up as a kid, and hear my mom play the oldies, uh, my brother, my older brother, his his crew, uh, Morocco, you know, because yes. he grew up with my older, like they were they were like close, so they were big hip hop junkies, you know, like mm -hmm. as kids, as teenagers, and I would like he had his room. When Biggie said it was all a dream, I used to be Word Up magazine. Like, <laughs> that was my brother's room. He had Word Up magazines, like posters everywhere all over his room. The big tape deck with all the classics, Illmatic, all that stuff. So mm -hmm. it was always a treat to like sneak into his room when he wasn't home and <laughs> going through all the music. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, I mean, I, getting into music, I wasn't really into music at first. I was into the arts, you know, just drawing. I was into, you know, I wanted to be an astronaut when I was a kid, I was a dream. Uh, I, I was into like a lot of science and art stuff. I wasn't really into music. And I also did wrestling, professional wrestling. Mm -hmm. Uh, that was cool for a moment, uh, but then you realize if you break your neck, you know it's about paying your bills. You know, you know. So I had to stop doing that, and that's when I came across uh, FL Studio. Mm. I found a bootleg of it, put it in my computer. That was like what seven, eight years ago, mm. and the rest is history. I've been yeah. making music since. And now you're traveling the world. You know, I like to affirm it. Yeah. Now you're traveling the world. Yeah. You're traveling, and you just did a show in Philly. What was that like? You know, who did you collaborate with in Philly? Um, it was a collective of artists, of art curators. It was mm -hmm. High Art Productions, and uh, Ashley, one of the, the co-founders, co reached out to me because she heard me to also heard me through Selection Radio. Yes. Uh, shout out to Joe K. Shout out to Joe K. Shout, shout out to the collection. Yes. Uh, from the UK. Yes. Future Beats show. Yes, I love tune the Future in. Beats. You, you tuned in? Yes, I tuned in. Cool. Production is the truth. Yes, here's the truth, okay? The truth. I met and when him. I heard Wavy Bank is on there, I was like, oh, we're on there. Because when your brother makes it, you make it, so we know yeah, we're on there. Work. But <laughs> nah, he's been really cool. Like, he's, he found out about my music through Reddit, which is crazy because I posted a, a beat through Reddit. And he found, he, like, he's like, yo, he's in love with my show ever since. I got to meet him a few months ago. He came out to Brooklyn, mm -hmm. uh, Shemansky, and performed and killed it. I was like, yo, you know, you the guy, you are, you know, I love you, man. Like, and, you know, he just, he's just a generous guy. He just, you can tell with generosity. You, mm -hmm. can, you can feel generosity in people. And you always yes. want to make sure you do right by them. And you're always showing love. And that's yeah. what I hope to do with everybody, and including especially him, you know, because he's, he's, he's helped me a lot. Yes, or, that's awesome. Or, but um, I'm sorry, I'm back to the the, question, the Pennsylvania question. Yes, yes. So yeah, Philly. So, yes. so yeah, she heard about me through Selection Radio mm -hmm. and reached out to me. Hey, you, you Wavy Bagels, uh, we'd, we'd love to have you. And so we made it happen. And it was, that was that. That's peace, yeah. God. Yes. Oh, gosh. And so as a DJ, as a, as a performer, because you're still performing, yes. um, what are some of the things that you had to overcome as you're on the way up or progressing to doing more shows? Um, definitely uh, organization. That's mm. a big factor with that, a lot of that because, you know, the people I roll with, you know, the people that help me get to where I got to go, you know, that communication and or yep. making sure things are set in place so when I'm ready to do these shows, there's no, there's not that many issues that may occur or may arrive mm -hmm. on the day of. So, um, it was really, so being in Philly, I say it was my first time being doing the show outside of New York City. Yes. So it was a lot of challenges, you know, you know, it was definitely a lot of lessons to learn from okay. that first show, from that first um, show. And mm -hmm. I hope to carry that for the next, whenever somebody books me outside of New York again. Yes, and you will. Yeah. We affirm it. Affirm it. He will. Existence. Yes. yes. You're already, you're already 
got the next show going Word. down pack. You know, what's next, New Orleans? Uh, Word, right? <laughs> yes. So, you know, since we're on that topic, we're going to get right into Bag Man. So, if you know and if you've been watching Bag Lady, hashtag Bag Lady, hashtag Living in the Process, then you are definitely much so aware of the fact that it's um, paying homage to my spirit mother across the galaxy, Erica Badu who created a song, Back Lady, and we'll talk about how spiritual baggage can really weigh you down. Yeah. You know, your doubts, your concerns, your insecurities, um, your comparisons to people who are progressing in their own path. And so this is a great opportunity for you to watch and tune in and know that one, you're not alone in your process, and two, some things aren't as big as it is, and that's why we have Wavy, Wavy Bagels here talking about his progressions, talking about his success, and he's about to get into some baggage, and we're about to throw away some baggage because we do not need it on our path. No, no, no. Mm -mm. So, please do the honors. <laughs> Everyone is creating, everyone is creating my idea and I feel like there is no more room for me. Mm -hmm. Example, marketing similar projects. Question, how can a person remain unique in a very different objective driven market? Wow, that's yeah. real. Um, I used to feel that way um, as a producer, you know, because uh, it's such a, especially in New York City, it's, 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 it's a giant, fish pond and it's so many yeah. fish so many fish mm -hmm. um but as far as you know in the, having 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 this one's own individuality and standing by it you got to stand true to it you know that's how you do it you can't focus on everybody else what they're doing even though it is heavy it's, it's, it's market driven it's very everything is up front in your face right. and everybody's doing their thing and everybody is getting booked yeah. or so whatever you know like you got to stay true to yourself and not let, like, like one of the things I'm learning is uh, fuel, mm -hmm. you know, what drives, what drives somebody. Yes. And there's, there's positive fuel mm -hmm. and there's negative fuel. Now fuel, that both fuels can get you to what you want to do, but each fuel, they, both fuels, they, they treat you differently in the long run. So like good fuel, like bad fuel, like an example of bad fuel is like, oh, this girl doesn't like me mm -hmm. or, or, you know, these guys are, you know, these guys are like, they're not, they're not trying to be down with me. I, you mm -hmm. know, I want to try to be down with them, like a bunch of rappers or whatever. Right. And, like, you know, you, you use that as motivation. Like, you use that as motivation to be better. Right. Yeah, you might get that, but you're going to have this, like, attitude of with right. people now. Like, like the oh, chip on your shoulder. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yo, fuck everybody. You know, mm -hmm. tell me language. But, like, yeah, I don't need nobody. I'm my own person now. Now you got to come to me. Mm -hmm. That attitude. Whereas positive fuel, if that same issue that's happened to you, you just ignore it, like you just deflect it and you use the good things that's happening in your life. Right. You're focused on the good things happening and using that as motivation. Absolutely. So when you get on, you still have that same humility. Yeah. Yes, but, I uh, agree. Yeah, so it's like, I would say just don't focus on everybody else. You gotta focus on yourself and hone in on yourself and like dig deep within yourself and love and love and hate yourself at the same time. <laughs> just like, you gotta, like you have to, and especially yeah. in these times because individuality is very rare now. Mm -hmm. Very rare. So you have to dig deeper within yourself and like be happy with yourself and yeah. knowing that this is it. Like, this is you. This is not, you're not going to change. You're not going to get the Michael Jackson chance over. <laughs> you don't, you don't transform. Right. Like, this is you. This is it. You're in this. You're living in the process. It's yes, like, you ah, are. Ah, 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 in the process. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, um, I also want to respond to that and say that in such um, a diverse market where everyone is trying their best to be different, it's just really important that you own who you are and not necessarily trying to be different. It will show, your light will show and you will attract what is yours. Um, and you sometimes have to go through certain milestones, I believe, in order to receive the abundance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a lot like the mistakes I made in my early career of videography was I had this vision I wanted to direct, but I also I wanted to be every man on set. But I realized that it's important to be the director and direct. 
and then in some cases in some projects be the producer and produce or in some cases be the host and host um, because mastering one thing is better than being a jack of all trades because you can have all these skill sets but you often will find yourself um, multiplying your energy but not really benefiting from any of it right each piece of energy right exactly um, so, I mean to the youth to everyone who's watching out there there are tons of people in our conscious community and I air quotes because it's about your subconscious that really feeds you um, your consciousness is just being aware of what is your subconscious tells you the next step and what it is that you're doing um, in the awakeness in the awakened state <laughs> um, so I just want to tell you like it's important that you know that as many conscious community that we do have as many people are in there selling butters and soaps and candles and reading tarot cards we're all somewhat of the same flock and it's really important that you recognize that something that you create is coming from you and you'll find that something different when you just continue to progress and just do it like nike just do it um make the effort and god will make it happen Yo, Wavy, I appreciate you coming here and speaking your peace and your blessings. Uh, we're going to do a quick meditation affirmation. So if you don't mind repeating after me. Okay. Yeah. So I am. I am. That I am. That I am. Traveling the world. Traveling the world. With great abundance. With great abundance. I am. I am. That I am. That I am. Nailing each and every performance. Nailing each and every performance. And walking away with money in my pocket. And walking away with money in my pocket. No dues. No dues. Just received. Received. Just received. <laughs> um, I am. I am. That I am. That I am. A giver. A giver. And a receiver. And a receiver. Ashe. Ashe. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead. Make sure you follow us at Living with Belgian underscore underscore. And my brother here at Wavy underscore Bagels. Via Instagram, SoundCloud, everywhere. I'm probably, I'm just probably next door to it. I'm just everywhere now. So like, just Google me. I'm out here. Much love to everybody. Yes. Um, shout out to Green Studio NYC. We're back in Brooklyn. It yes. was uptown. We are now relocated to Brooklyn on Irving Ave. Um, if there's an address, I mean, it'll probably be down here. Right the lower somewhere third, so maybe down somewhere there. Or maybe down somewhere. there. Um, but look us up. We're on, <laughs> um, we're on Twitter, Instagram, everywhere. Green Studio NYC. Uh, we also have GreenStudioNYC.com. Yes. And uh, shout out to my crew, Made Up Words. We're on Instagram, Made Up Words NYC. Um, collective of DJs bringing good vibes and great sounds wherever we go. And... Much love. Thank you for yes, having me, Rebel. Thank you for coming. And you'll see us soon. Remember, stay tuned every Thursday, hashtag Thursday Thursday on my Instagram, where I share positive quotes and insight. You can also check me out on YouTube, right here, down below. Subscribe and share your thoughts about how you've overcome in your process. Peace. Peace. What's up, you guys? It's your one and only goddess here, Rebel Jones, where I make the effort and God makes it happen. What are you doing? How are you doing it? When are you doing it? That's the whole point to the process, to progress. You gotta make the effort. You gotta put in the work. So, ciao, ciao. Go now. And make sure you subscribe before you leave. You're gonna wanna hear more what I have to say. A good reader makes a good speaker.